$1,499. That is how much the OSCP costs at the moment. Hectic. Ain't no way. Despite it costing $1,499, I gave in. I bought the OSCP package yesterday out of pocket. By out of pocket, I mean with my own money, which is something I'm going to touch on later in this video someone asked me a question a while ago about whether the pnpt had helped my career progression i answered this question with a yes and a no type answer yes because i learned a lot of things from the pnpt stuff that could help in a technical interview and stuff that could help you during an actual engagement and no because recruiters still ask for the gold standard the oscp have you booked the exam how far are you in your exam studies? How much of the course have you done? How many attempts of the exam had you had? Yada, yada, yada. Last year, my excuse would have been, oh, I'm in university, I have classes. But this year, I kinda don't have classes for now, so I also kinda don't have an excuse. I then came to the conclusion that the longer I postponed and the longer I procrastinated, the longer the process would take as a whole, right? So, because of this realization, I finally bought the thing. $1,499. <laughs> it's crazy every time I say it. And um, because of this procrastination, right, they decided to change the pricing options at the end of March, which I did not know because I barely opened my Twitter feed and some other social media platforms. And so now they only have one pricing option. There's no more 30 days, there's no more 60 days for lab time, there's now only 99 days. I mean, 90 days, it's 90 days. And it costs $1,499. I should have been a bit smarter, hey? So I keep saying $1,499 because that's how much it is. It's expensive. Just a dollar away from $1,500, which is kind of a mocking type thing, you know? I don't know why people do that. Just tell us it's $1,500. It's okay, we'll still buy it. So the real question is, why is it this expensive? Why is the OSCP $1,499? Some people see this certification as the gold standard in terms of red teaming when it comes to cybersecurity entry level positions and certifications in general. It's by far the most requested on job postings. Don't quote me on that. For some reason, it's called an entry-level certification, and that just goes to show how hard getting into the red team side of cybersecurity is. It covers the foundational knowledge you need for exploitation with Kali Linux. It is known industry-wide, and having it gives you an edge over most candidates when you're applying for a job. Some people pass this exam on the first try. Some people have tried seven times, and they still haven't passed. Why does this happen? Who knows? So that was one hand, the group of people that see the OSCP as this really beautiful gold standard, a must have, but not exactly the goal though, right? It's just another certification. And then there's the other hand of people that see the certification as utterly useless and of no value whatsoever as something that just takes money from your pocket. A lot of money while at it. $1,499. That's a lot of money. Like I said, they see this as an overpriced certification, overhyped, glorified for no reason, and they'd rather spend their money elsewhere. Personally, I am on the fence. I see the credibility that OSCP has in the industry, how it's helped some people get jobs, get raises, just learn more, right? about security in general. $1,499. There isn't even a pricing option for students. Bro, what? I don't understand that. I'm a university student. Where am I supposed to find $1,499 to pay for a certification that I might fail on the first time because it's so hard while I also have to pay my college tuition? Ah, make that make sense. While it might not make sense to spend your money on the OSCP when you don't have enough for other things and other necessities you have in life, right? At some point, it might be 
a necessary sacrifice you have to make depending on where you want to go and how far you want to go with advancing your career because at the same time you could justify that by saying you could get a job after you have your SCP and when you do get your job you're going to be making enough to cover for the OSCP expense you had at some point and you go for and you're gonna forget that you spent $1,499 on the OSCP right it makes sense doesn't it all those people like me who pay out of pocket and complain about it there's those that are blessed enough to have employers that offer to pay for their certifications and then there's another group of people that are blessed enough to win uh, an OSCP voucher from like a giveaway from Triagni or other CTF platforms or something. It's still a blessing, however, to be able to afford the OSCP out of pocket. Some people can only dream, right, to want to have the OSCP, but they don't have enough money. So it's still something to be grateful for. So I am recording this on the 10th of April. I'll be able to access the material on the 11th of April. That is when my act of preparation for the OSCP actually begins. Tomorrow, we will get into full swing. No going back. It's only up from here. This whole time it had been passive preparation with just hack the box and try hack me and all that stuff, right? I don't know how long this journey is gonna take. I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to take the exam, but it shall be done, God willing. So I'd like to invite you to join the Discord server. There's other people studying for the OECP as well, as well as other certifications. So we'll be doing a lot of fun stuff, boxes and all that jazz. But that is it from me. Let me go cry about the money I just spent. Peace.